Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. You probably are sick of seeing this makeup and the shirt. This is my Hanson Day shirt. I'm very excited that I finally got a Hanson Day shirt. Um, and I'm just being cozy. It's January 1st as I'm filming these. I'm trying to get a few videos done so that um, I'm, I'll be traveling and then starting school and I, I, I need a couple weeks where I don't have to worry about trying to get some filming done. Also, like, just I want to make sure that I get things filmed in case something happens. So today is the introduction to my next project, Use It Up Body Care. This is uh, basically last year was the first year I had ever done a project pan and I decided to do two of them and I did them for six months each. That's what I'm going to do again this time. I find that that six months really works well for me because um, I, I've during all of the stuff that was going on, I moved a lot of my stuff to my parents' house because I wasn't sure where I was going to be living. And I just, it felt easier as I was looking for jobs all over the country that they were more centrally located. So what I've done is I, when I come visit, you know, I'm here over the summer, I'm here over the holidays, I take enough stuff back with me so that will get me through basically the semester. And then I just extended it a little bit. I, I might get through all of this before uh, the six months is up and that, that's awesome. And I've been doing two month uh, updates because I've also, I've been doing a skincare one as well, but they're like opposite months. So I started that one in February. So you'll see the finale and the new one starting in February. A lot to say. Anyway, this will be another six months. I have almost everything with me. There are a few things that I know I have at my place. So I will try to insert pictures of them so that you can see what I'm doing. Let's start with what I'm rolling over from the last project pan. And if you haven't watched that finale, I'll have it listed up above. Although you're, you're going to get some spoilers because uh, I'm rolling over a few things. We're going to start with, um, hand creams. We'll start with the one I'm rolling over. So I have the Body Shop Strawberry Hand Cream. Then I have a Black Cherry Merlot from Bath & Body Works Hand Cream. I'm hoping that I can get through that. I have not been enjoying Black Cherry Merlot. I used to love it. And suddenly, like the second half of this year, I'm like, oh, I'm over it. Then I have Josie Marin. This is the Whipped Argan Oil Intensive Hand Cream in Be Spirited, Be Spirited which is Sweet Citrus. And then I have the Yardley London English Rose hand cream. I'm going to keep this on my desk at work and try to uh, work through it. Then I have the Savannah Bee Company. This is an orange mint overnight foot treatment. These are all full. There's a, I've used a little bit of this one, but not, not enough to make a dent. Same with this one. I tried to use it a few times. You can see it's very sticky and it leaves my feet kind of sticky. It's almost like you actually have honey or something on them. Um, like honey was mixed in with it and I'm not, I'm not loving it, but I'm going to try to use this like once a week and try, um, to get through it in the next six months. So hopefully I can do that. Uh, it's orange mint. It smells really good. Like I do enjoy the scent of it, just not the product itself. Then I have, uh, my winter candy apple. This is how much I've left. Yes. I have it sitting here upside down cause it's in my shower and it's just easier at this point. So, almost done with this one, you know, very, came very close to actually finishing this, uh, with the project, but was a little short of my goal. I have in here my hand creams and foot creams that I am going to also be working on. These are all, uh, ones that I haven't used at all. So I have from philosophy, this is the cranberry medley hand cream. Then I have a gingham from Bath and Body Works. This one was from 2020. So that's why I decided to throw that one in. Then I have a rainbow candy swirl just because I wanted some new stuff. And I feel like this is going to be so good in January. I really like this set and I wish I'd gotten some of the body butters. So if I find any body butters, you know, as I'm finishing up sass, I will pick them up. I don't like the Toka hand creams, but I'm throwing one in. These are smaller ones, so I'm hoping that I can use it. I have some larger ones too. This is Cleopatra, which is grapefruit and cucumber. The grapefruit, I don't mind. Oh, I feel like I have a hair on my face. Um, This is so old. And my other Mary Kay hand cream from last time went bad. This one doesn't, it still sounds good, so that's good. This is the Vanilla Mint hand cream. I was saving it because it does smell so good, but that's going to be like one of my night hand creams. I'm also going to do the same thing with this. This is the Lo Lo 
Le Covent de Minimes repairing hand cream with honey and shea. This used to be at Bath and Body Works so long ago. Um, it's old, but it it still like feels and it looks okay. So we're gonna try to finish that one up too. I'm trying to get out some older things, like I said, and then a couple new things thrown in to make me happy. We got my love. This is strawberry snowflakes. One of my top fragrances from Bath and Body Works this past year. I love it so much. So yes, had to throw in that. Uh, since we will be having Easter, I decided to throw in one of my happy Easter uh, tutti frutti candy hand creams. I got several of these when they went 75% off in the summer sass. So I have a few of those. Then I have this Merci Handy uh, hand cream and Hello Sunshine. I have two of these, so I decided I'm gonna use one of the two, see what I like it, and then if I don't like it, then I'll pass on the other one. They both have seals on them, so. Then I have this from Bliss. I've had this for a few years, I think. This is the Bliss Blood Orange and White Pepper Body Butter, and I figure this, I like this size, I throw them in my purse, so I'll use it that way. We're not quite done. If I finish those two full-size hand creams, then um, I'm going to work on these two from Gold Fountain MD. Uh, this is the Hands to Heart Anti-Aging anti Brightening Hand Treatment. I can't talk anymore. This is my third video. Uh, then I have the Dionysus Water Flowers and Sea Salt Hand Cream. I really like this scent. I've had it before, so decided that would be good. Oh, I have another Bath and Body Works. This is In the Stars. I'm not the biggest fan of this scent. When I smelled it in store, like spraying it recently, I was like, mm, not a big fan. So we'll see. I have a couple that I'm going to use on my feet. These aren't necessarily foot creams, but we're going to use them as foot creams. So I have a Vita Coco Coconut Oil. This is not very big. This is only 1.7 ounces. So hopefully I can use that up quickly because I just noticed it says uh, February. It's either, it says 26 Feb 19. So I think that was supposed to be 2019. We're, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to use it up. Then I have this old Mary Kay. This is the extra emollient night cream and they sold this uh, as a hand cream and foot cream, like way back in the day, there was like a hand cream set and oh my gosh. Um, so I've used a little bit of it, but it's like, it's basically almost like a Vaseline type product. And yeah, so I'm gonna use that on my feet, use that one up. Then I have some more recent things. I picked this up this year at Ross. This is the pink grapefruit body butter from uh, the body shop it smells so good um, it's it smells like it's going to start turning a little bit though this was $3.99 I couldn't believe that I found this on clearance so but I want to make sure I use it up then I have this that I got in July 2020 when things were opening back up and Alta was doing like 50% off of all of their clearance prices so I picked up this almond body cream whipped body moisturizer it was half of $7.25 and it's I want to use it up. I want to use it up. Last thing in this bag is a Corez. I also got this on clearance at Ross. This is, what is this? The yogurt almond. This smells so good as a body butter. I really enjoy this as a body butter. I've had this before. I used up another one of these. So the body butters I will use uh, as a foot cream and or as a hand cream. This one probably just as a foot cream because it's more stimulating. Um, and I don't want to smell this when I'm trying to go to sleep. But yeah, so those are what I'm trying to use up. We'll see. I It's in some ways more, but in some ways fewer than what I had my last six months. We'll see. My other body care products, I kind of was trying to lay them out by month to kind of get an idea of what I could use and what I had at home that I knew I wanted to use up because there's a few that the pack, like their products are not that old, but I know from using another similar product that the packaging disintegrates really quickly. So I wanted to use up all of my, um, these, the moisturizing body wash from Bath and Body Works. I had the Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow that I got at, from the outlet in the summer and the packaging like was flaking all over the place. It was just disintegrating. So I wanted to use up all of the moisturizing body washes that I have. So I will be using this Rose Vanilla. I got this last SAS. I was very excited to find it. So, um, We'll, we'll, we'll get to that one in a second. We're gonna start with January. So January, th these are products I don't have. I have Love Winter, or Cotton Candy Champagne. That's the love. I have a moisturizing shower gel or body wash. 
um, that I want to use up and I know that has the same packaging as the hope so want to get that out and then I have a matching body cream that I want to use up with that um, I don't want to leave the body creams too long but I also want things that I enjoy and I loved that scent that was one of my favorite scents from last year from 2021 so I really it's two years ago now you know what I mean uh, I really liked it and then I also want to use up um, this one this is from secret which is minerals from the Dead Sea this was my, my mom got caught by one of those little kiosk guys in the mall and uh, this is the milk and honey body lotion these are feeling like a little like um, they're not too bad but they feel like they're expanding a little bit so I want to use them up it smells nice so that's January uh, with those two so basically what I'm doing is I'm thinking two lotions per body wash because I used a little bit I didn't use quite seven body washes so if I have something else I'll throw in like a sample or because um, I have some smaller ones or I will throw in another body wash to start using I have plenty of those at home uh, then for February um, I'm using oh let me show you the body scrubs too they're, they're listed separately I have two body scrubs basically I was thinking two body scrubs because I go through them a little bit faster I've been going through maybe two a month but I'm not I'm not going to do quite 12 but I just picked these two up uh, from Marshall's so I thought I would put throw these in I haven't even hauled these yet this is the cotton candy this is the onks bathhouse so it says self love self care and this is cotton cotton candy um it smells nice it smells like kind of like cotton candy so I thought you know cotton candy champagne we'll use that one and then this one this one was actually on clearance for three dollars this is the your champagne scent uh, this one has Moroccan oil the other one has hobo jojoba oil so those are the body scrubs for January for February I wanted to use my gingham love moisturizing body wash and cream I bought like everything in gingham love because I fell so in love with that scent last year I loved it so much so I have those I want to use those up I thought that would be a great February type scent right and then I have this one from h2o plus this is the moisturizing body balm um, so I used up a hand cream of this earlier this year uh, it was in my last project pan I think or project use it up so here's here's another one to use up uh, yeah then the other thing I want to use is not here it's currently sitting in my shower at home it's raw sugar body scrub and it's watermelon and it smells so good I think it'll go really well with those and it's it's pink too so you know pink for February uh, Valentine's Day and then I'm also going to throw in the tree hut strawberry shea sugar scrub I love this stuff this is brand, this is brand new I just purchased it very recently so throw that one in as well then for March we got to use some of my older products so I have into the night this is a 27 2019 sorry 2019 there's a squirrel right in front of my window uh, 2019 body wash or shower gel um I'm not sure how I feel about this I kind of like it but I kind of feel like it's a lot so I felt like March would be a good time to use it so this is raspberry noir uh, amber crystals velvety rose petals creamy patchouli and mocha musk I don't know it's okay it's it's not my favorite but I don't not like it either and then I have the matching lotion for that as well I figure I feel like this must have been in a um, box or one of their bags because that was for several years that was the only time I went into Bath and Body Works was when they were doing those big bags so I have those and then the other thing I wanted to use with that is this triple berry martini oh, this smells so good I got this at the outlet and I just love the scent of this this is pomegranate juice black raspberry liqueur and strawberry sugar it smells so good it's very fruity very berry uh, I thought that would, that would be a good pairing right um, you can let me know if, what you think of my pairings too and then for uh, body scrubs I had two down I had frosted cranberry from tree hut and I also had velvet coffee and this is this one's going to take priority the velvet coffee over the frosted cranberry frosted cranberry is kind of like one of my backup scents uh, in case like I, I don't finish all of them then for April we're finally get to this one this is the rose vanilla aromatherapy the love this was the first love that they did 
at least as far as I know. I loved the cacao rose. I wish they would bring that one back. I wish they would bring this one back. I would buy this one again as well. This smells so good. It's just rose oil, rose oil and vanilla absolute. It's lovely. To go with that, I have a uh, old pink chiffon lotion. This one is from 2013, so definitely need to use it up. Uh, trying, to, trying to use up those products even though I'm way behind on some of them. So I have this one and then I have, um, I have a couple different Nanette Lepore lotions. So this one is just Nanette Lepore. Uh, yeah, these are starting to feel a little bit more uh, bloated, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to put them all in this bag so that I don't lose them anywhere. So I have those. Then I have a, this is a had this for several years. So 2018, 2019, I probably picked this up um, because this is definitely pre-world shutting down. This is Lalicious. This is a sugar coconut extraordinary whipped sugar scrub. I have never tried this brand. I know this was really expensive. I mean, look at how bougie the packaging looks. Um, and I know, I know that we got this at a med spa and it was expensive. It was like when they were doing their sale thing but it was still expensive. So, but I want to make sure I use it up. I don't want, I want to enjoy it, but I also don't want it to go to waste. Uh, May, I can't believe, okay, May. We're going to start with the <laughs> Colors of Nanette lotion. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to pair this with my Firecracker Pop shower gel, which I have at home. So you'll see a picture of it. And then I also have a Firecracker Pop. It looks basically like this. Cream, I wanted to use something up that's new that I really enjoy. I feel like this will be a nice May one. Uh, this is red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. But I didn't want to use my pink watermelon blast because I am hoarding that one because that's one of my top scents as well from 2022. I like this one. I don't like it as much as watermelon blast, pink watermelon blast. And I think this one they've already brought back once, so there's higher chances of it being brought back again. At least that's what I'm thinking. So uh, yes, that is why we're doing that one for May. With that, uh, I grabbed the pineapple body scrub from Trueha. I thought pineapple would go well with those. And then for June, I have a Waikiki Beach Coconut Moisturizing Body Wash back home that I'm going to use up. And then I have an old uh, aromatherapy. This is Mandarin Lime. This is probably from 2017 or 2007, one or the other. Um, this is the last one that I have in this. I think it's 2007 actually when I'm thinking about it, but uh, they still look good and smell good and feel good. So um, I'm going to use up the last of my glass jars like this that I know of, you know, when I finish unpacking everything that was put away when my house was torn apart. I might find more stuff. I know I have some Magnolia charms somewhere. I'm really looking forward to using those eventually. And then I'm also doing Love and Sunshine. I loved this one. I got this, I also got this one at the outlet. Um, that was probably, that was one of my highlights of vision, visiting Nashville was going to the outlet and like going crazy there. Uh, this smells so good. This is Sunkissed sun Daisy, Sweet Lemon, Mara, Strawberry, Golden Honeysuckle, and Sunshine Musk. Love that one. We're gonna stick that bag over there. I'm not putting body scrubs in there though. And then for June, oh, I forgot to put down one. Um, I have this Mermaid Off Duty Body Scrub. So this one I may or may not get to. If I do, that's good. This one does have a seal on it, which is nice. The newer ones that I got from Onks Bathhouse don't. And then this is one that I have currently open. I've used it a few times, not, not a ton. But this is the Dr. Teal's Shade Sugar Scrub and Coconut Oil uh, with essential oils. So you can see I have it. I have a sizable dent in there. Um, it smells fine. I don't, I don't love the scent. I don't mind it, but it's not like as fragrant as some of the other ones. So that, that one, I don't have written down, uh, right to work in, but I will be continue using it until I get home. And then, um, I will switch to the cotton candy and the champagne and stuff. Anyway, let me know how you are doing. Let me know if you are planning to do any type of a project use it up this year. Let me know if you think I'm crazy, if you think I can do it, what you would uh, add or what you should, would take out. Let me know down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.